sitting here waiting for the concrete truck to get here. I was just on the phone with the engineer and they're saying to get the openness of the front of our A-frame where it's, I mean, the peak of it's 35 feet tall. We're gonna need 38 feet, three inch beams that are seven inches by 18 inches. So they're parallels and I just priced them out and they're $2,700 a piece. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if we're gonna stay with this A-frame thing. Our engineer's just trying to manipulate the plans a little bit more and see if we can go with like a smaller roof joist, maybe, a two, I don't even know, hopefully a two by 12, but even then it's 39 feet long, 40 feet long, and that's still $800 a piece right now, which is just way more than I wanna spend. Figured out here in the next couple days what to do. We might be swapping out our plans and doing something different, even though our heart was set on the A-frame, but if the funds don't allow it, then we gotta do something different. We're gonna have to do some uh, research and figure out what to do. Concrete truck just came up here. We're about to start laying down this foundation right now. Hopefully, hopefully it looks good when we're done. <laughs> Just got done doing the concrete. The truck was a little shy. We ordered three yards, which we calculated should be enough. Even a little bit more than enough, we only needed 2.6. But it wasn't enough. You can see the forms, it's like a half inch or an inch low around the entire perimeter. I mean, it looks better than our shed by far because it's a smaller slab. We'll see what it looks like when it's done and go from there, but we'll probably just go with this. And it doesn't look too bad. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what, what it looks like at the end, and then we'll go from there. Midway through the pour, Charlie decided he wanted to help us pour some concrete. We made footprints throughout the whole thing, so we had to fix that, but it was pretty funny. He's got concrete all over his paws right now, and he's, he's ashamed, it looks like, just hanging out. <laughs> We 
just ate breakfast. We're about to put in a flagpole. My nephew Nick is here. We got the Can-Ams out, ready to go for a rip later. But yeah, right now, so we're just mixing the concrete in the hole. We got a bag in there. We're probably gonna put another half bag in there. Should be good to go. We got this hole dug. We got a flagpole, a 30 foot flagpole we're gonna put up. And it's right here. Freedom edition, baby. Can't wait to get that set up and get it hardened so that we can fly a flag later on today. All right, the flagpole is in, it's leveled, it's setting up. We'll be able to hang that thing later today. It's gonna be awesome. Now, it's time to frame up this shed. Here's the start of it right here. We're using two by six lumber for the whole thing. It's 13 by 13. There's our master carpenter right there. He knows how to do this. He does it every single day. Walls up. We're just trying to lay out the solar room right now. I think we're gonna go five feet wide, eight foot long, and then we're gonna leave a spot right here that's four feet for a uh, tall deep freeze. And then there'll be a door right here that's a left in swing to go in there and do all the solar stuff. And then over here, we're gonna have a pressure tank, uh, water pump, filtration system, and then washer and dryer. And then the, the door will be right here, 36 inch door.
so frame these down, we just gotta do the double top plate. And then uh, we'll anchor around the perimeter. And then we'll be ready to do the roof. I don't know if we have enough wood to do the roof, because it took a little bit more than I thought to do this. So we might achieve this and put the house wrap on it and do the, the roof later. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. We were gonna do the roof. We got the peak board up there and everything, but it's so windy. The ladders have fell down twice. So we're gonna change gears a little bit and we're just gonna start sheathing everything. And then maybe tomorrow we will uh, start putting the roof together. Well, we haven't been recording that much. We've just been chugging along. We got this whole wall done over here. Part of this one and then that other one in the back you can see, but we just gotta finish that very, very back one. Uh, my nephew Nick just wanna go get some more plywood from our stock. Yeah, we just have to do this back wall. It's kind of cool to have a hole, like it's enclosed kind of, you know? make big bucks to make those freaking cuts. Oh, I had my beer goggles on. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude, that's... that's good. Yeah, that's Well, the roof is pretty much done. We're gonna we're gonna cut all these off straight later on. They're sitting kind of long and not the same look. Like they're not even at all. So don't look at that. You can see the ridge beam still kind of sticking out. There's gonna be like a there's gonna be then a roof joist that comes out over here and kind of hangs over the front and the back about 18 inches or 20 inches I believe I forget exactly but I'm out of lumber so I think we're done for the day but it looks pretty good I wish we could have got it done and sheathed today that's just not gonna happen but whew. it's Sunday so we're gonna Sunday fun day we're gonna bust out the toys and have some fun and relax for the day we've been working our butt off all week well we played a little too hard in the snow in the snow I'm buried to the frame right now in this. <sighs> Trying to pull me out right now. We have one strap. We're out in the middle of nowhere. We'll see if we can get out. <laughs> well, I got unstuck. We're super muddy though. My nephew's these cars, super dirty. Here's mine, super dirty. That snow and mud. We're able to just pull it from a strap from the, the front and pull it out and no big deal. We just didn't have the strap with us. Now it's time to eat some. We're gonna smoke some burgers and hang out. Let's let's eat. Good morning and welcome back. Yesterday we didn't really film that much. I mean I did a little bit of work on the solar shed and then we were in the car or in the truck all day long. We went to go pick up all of our solar our panels our batteries our all the components are right there uh, and we did a little lumber run at home depot but we were in the, the truck 
90% of the day, so we didn't really cord anything. But in the morning, I was able to get a little bit done uh, on the interior walls on the solar ship. Let me show you. I didn't even put my tools away yesterday. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I put this wall in right here. This room, there's a door going right here, obviously. And then inside, it's like a four by eight or actually five by eight room. That's where all the solar is gonna be. It's gonna be insulated. So it just kind of, in the winter, the insulation keeps it warm. So I don't need a heater in there. And in the summertime, I'll probably just prop the door open and leave it open. But that's what I was told to do by our solar company. It should work fine. It was a cold one last night. Snowed, like a light dusting of snow everywhere. Look at my can and my nether's like snow. Just a little bit. I think uh, instead of continuing with the solar shed today, I change gears for the day and work on just organizing the shop a little bit. Like just after being up here for a couple weeks now and using it every day, there's a few things that I want to change. I have lumber. I'm going to build a workbench and then also one of those like hanging wall, like battery charging units that, and then you hang your hang all your power tools and stuff like that. I'm definitely gonna get the workbench done today. I'm not sure about the, the hanging wall thing. That's like a lot more in depth stuff. So we'll see what, see what happens. And I'm going to rearrange a little bit of stuff in the garage just to make it a little more user friendly. And then probably pick back up on the solar shade tomorrow. Well, the workbench is completely done. I didn't record any of it. Check it out and let me know what you think. What do you have it in here? This concrete is not level. This is my first concrete uh, try. So it didn't turn out too good, but it's a workshop, so it's okay. But I mean, it's not bad. I got a little shelf down here. About just like a third of the way. I just threw everything on there that I had on this other table. That table right there. I like put through everything that was on there, on here, so I could get rid of it. Cause I need some space. Cause I'm gonna put all the solar in the shop. from ours. This is our whole solar system. We're really excited. It's going to be amazing to put all the pieces and parts together. It's going to be a 21 kilowatt system. You'll have to watch and see as we put all the pieces and pots together. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to Life Elevated Off Grid. Let freedom ring.